Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. But, but Barack Obama is a joke. Barack Obama didn't do a darn thing for black folk. As a matter of fact, he hurt black folk in two ways. First of all, he had eight years to do something for black folk, but he carefully and judiciously involved and, uh, and judiciously involved, avoided doing anything for black folk. And most of my white friends told me in politics, and I, and I was always with president and governors, they say, hey, we would never have voted for Obama. We know black, but he's going to do something for black folk. We knew he would never do anything for black folk. And so, but that's the first thing. He never did anything for black folk, but he, did, but he, he used that old thing that they did in, uh, back in Philadelphia in 1789. He used very broad, ambiguous terms. I'm the, I'm the president of all the people. They got to, they say, they like to say a rising tide lifts all boats. That's a stupid thing. Yeah. Cause the black, cause black people both got a hole in it. That's right. It's in the bottom of the damn right. Yeah. Your opponent, Donald Trump. Um, I was a little bit surprised. People might be surprised to hear that you have never interacted with him, met him face to face. Mm -hmm. That's going to change soon. But what I want to ask you about is what he said last month. He suggested that you happened to turn black recently for political purposes, mm -hmm. questioning a core part of your identity. Yeah. Any same old tired playbook. Next question, please. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Okay. okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people at the supermarket, on the street, everyone's like, you know, Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our the thing we're so excited about to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both... Indian. Yes. But actually, we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha one half of my family. Okay, thank you. You do. I've been telling people we're related already, yeah. so this is uh -huh. perfect. It's basically <laughs> true. Uh, and so, were you raised eating South Indian food? South Indian food is only going to benefit black people. jury decided not to indict the two Jonathan Farrell was unarmed when he died just a month shy of his 25th birthday now that officer Randall Carrick is charged with voluntary manslaughter a mistrial was declared in the case of a white police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black man death of Eric Garner of a heart attack on Thursday the father of six can be heard on the tape saying repeatedly I can't People simply cannot understand why the grand jury did not indict when they could actually see video of what went down between that New York police officer and Eric Garner. Michael Brown, an unarmed 18-year-old, was shot and killed during a struggle with a Ferguson police officer. Sir Darren Wilson will not be indicted. It's the feeling among many of these people that black lives don't matter. Not one reason that this grand jury find to indict. That's not what I have a black child. Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke shot and killed 17-year-old Laquan McDonald. For the first time in 35 years, a Chicago police officer is charged with first-degree murder. Oh, that officer found guilty of second-degree murder. 12-year-old Tamir Rice on Sunday. Tamir Rice was playing with a pellet gun when officers arrived. One of them opened fire within two seconds. Grand jury decided not to indict the two officers who shot and killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice. Prosecutors in Baltimore dropped all remaining charges against three police officers in the Freddie Gray case. 
Samuel Debose was shot in the head Sunday after being pulled over for a missing license plate. Officer Raymond Tensing has now been charged with murder and voluntary manslaughter. The only reason why Tensing is being charged is because there was a body cam. Yes. 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 Now those charges have been dismissed. <sighs> The death of Alton Sterling. African-American man killed by police in Louisiana. The Louisiana Department of Justice cannot proceed with a prosecution. All we want is the same justice that they put against us whenever we go through certain trials and tribulations. Philando Castile, a supervisor at a school cafeteria where kids loved him. Police officer Geronimo Yanez shot Castile to death while he was in the car with his girlfriend and her four-year-old daughter. Jurors found Yanez was reasonable in his decision to shoot and kill Philando Castile during a traffic stop last July. Under the circumstances, just because he was a police officer, that makes it on your old Terrence Crutcher was killed on Friday when local officers responded to a call of a stalled vehicle in the middle of the road. Twelve jurors found a TPD officer, Betty Shelby, not guilty well, of some manslaughter. Of you are aware, uh, several weeks ago, we lost two of uh, New York's finest, uh, Rafael Ramos uh, and Wen Lu. They were serving their community with great honor uh, and dedication and courage. And all of New York grieved and all of the nation grieved. It was a reminder of the incredibly difficult and dangerous work uh, that so many of our law enforcement officers are engaged in every single day. Uh, I had a chance to meet uh, the families uh, of officers Ramos and Lou at the memorial that we did uh, just a few days ago. But it's important for us not only to uh, honor their memory, it's also important for us to make sure that we do everything we can to help uh, ensure the safety uh, of our police officers. What this legislation is going to do is to uh, initiate a blue alert system so that when uh, we know there is an active threat against law enforcement, that the alerts are going out in a uh, comprehensive and expeditious way. Uh, that prevents the, uh, the possibility that uh, other officers may be caught by surprise, and uh, it ensures that uh, appropriate steps can be taken uh, as quickly as possible. However, that uh, that we're making progress in, in this country. No, and no, no, no. Uh -huh. I, I will never say that progress is being made. If you stick a knife in my back nine inches and pull it out six inches, there's no progress. Mm -hmm. You pull it all the way out, that's not progress. The progress is healing the wound that's a blow that's a blow made, and they haven't even begun to pull the knife out, much less try and pull, uh, heal the wound. You have, have you have? They won't even admit the knife is there. <laughs>